Welcome to part 2 of our trip from Chicago to Milwaukee and back. In the last video, we took Amtrak's Hiawatha service to get up to Milwaukee. After spending some time walking around, shopping, and grabbing some lunch, it's time to head down to Kenosha, Wisconsin. Unfortunately, there's no train to take us there, which is why we will be taking a bus. Hey everybody, welcome to a brand new Trains Are Awesome video. My name is Tom and we are on leg 2 of our tour through Wisconsin. Today I am joined by the always lovely Lindsay. Um, so we're on a streetcar right now, but I wanted to ask your honest opinion about something. What do you think about buses? What's your first thought? Depends. Sometimes they're good, sometimes they're really bad. I would agree with that assessment. Today we're headed to Kenosha from Milwaukee. What if I told you that the bus we're riding today is kind of like if a city bus and a Greyhound bus had a baby together? All right, so there's the intermodal station. We got here on Amtrak a few hours ago. We're not taking Amtrak to Kenosha. We're taking Coach USA. Now, what is Coach USA? I'm glad you asked. Coach USA is a large company that owns several dozen smaller bus operators. These bus operators run all over the US and many use the Coach USA livery. Additionally, Coach USA owns the budget operator Megabus. These private companies can win government contracts to operate school buses or provide public transportation. Our bus will be operated by Wisconsin Coach Lines. This company runs express bus services between different Wisconsin cities and O'Hare Airport in Chicago, but it is also responsible for several intercity routes within the state of Wisconsin. Like ours today, which sees seven weekday round trips between Milwaukee, Racine, and Kenosha. Six trips on Saturdays and four on Sundays. Also, if Megabus gets to have this dorky mascot, Coach USA should have a mascot too. Meet Coach USA, bus driver by day, patriotic crime fighter by night. Corporate, are you taking notes? You can buy a ticket for this bus online that will set you back $18. However, if you pay in cash upon boarding the bus, it will only cost $4.50. A much better deal. Well, we had a very friendly bus driver. How are the seats? Very comfortable. They're comfortable? Oh, I can't yeah. wait. Lindsay never lies, so... Ooh. <laughs> Perfect record, babe. These are very comfortable. So in the intro, I was talking about how this is some sort of baby hybrid mutant bus. Let me explain that. So, when I think of a coach bus or an inner city service, I generally imagine a bus that stops at one location in every city, kind of like how Greyhound works. But this service is very different. As you can see on the map, there are four stops in downtown Milwaukee. The bus then takes the highway to serve the airport and then runs nonstop for a decent amount of time until it reaches Racine. In Racine, there are 10 different locations it stops at. After running non-stop for a little bit again, it then serves five stops in Kenosha. As you can see, it runs kind of like a city bus within the cities and kind of like a long distance coach between them. Something else that's different than normal, you don't need a reservation. If you do buy a ticket online, there's no date on it, you can use it up to a year after you've purchased it. To get on the bus, all you have to do is stand at one of the stops and make sure you're visible to the driver. Tell them your destination when you get on and they'll make sure to stop there. It works a lot like a city bus in that way too. When I was planning this trip, I was fascinated by the concept of it being both at the same time. I have to admit, it was interesting to be in a comfortable seat high above the ground and see the driver slow down to pick someone up on the side of a country road. The bus makes a stop at the terminal of Milwaukee Mitchell Airport. Then we're on our way to Racine and Kenosha. The total journey time is about an hour and a half, mostly because from this point on, we don't use the freeway, just local roads. Now, time to review the toilet. The first thing I noticed was that the sink was sealed shut, just like in metro trains. 
interestingly, the soap dispenser was still fully stocked, and dispensed the soap in everyone's favorite shape. Sorry, this bathroom is a little too weird for me. The views are mostly industrial. Like I mentioned earlier, there are 10 stops in Racine. Racine is a city with 77,000 people living in it, about 20 miles south of Milwaukee. It's the fifth largest city in Wisconsin and boasts several Frank Lloyd Wright houses. It's also allegedly the most affordable city in the world to live in by a survey that um, looked at eight different countries, okay. After a scene, we get treated to some shoreline views of Lake Michigan, but in 10 minutes or so, the bus drops us off in front of the metro station, one of five stops in the city. Made it to Kenosha. About an hour and a half later, we're right in front of the metro station where we'll take the train to Chicago in about three hours. We're also right next to the streetcar station, so that's what the next video is going to be about. How was your trip on Coach USA, Lindsay? Very comfortable. We were only about one of like six people that was on there, so that was kind of nice too, but very comfortable. The bus driver was really nice. and I like the seats too. I was a little bit too tall for my headrest, so my neck hurt a little bit, but it was a very comfortable ride. We had a very friendly driver, and uh, now we're here in Kenosha pretty much just to ride the streetcar, so make sure you subscribe to Trains Are Awesome, and we'll see you next time.